Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome to my channel Product Review. Today I'm bringing you another device from SanDisk. It's a USB flash drive and it's called the SanDisk Wireless Connect Stick. Apart from connecting like a normal USB pen drive, 2.0 drive, it can also connect to your devices wirelessly. So in this video, we're going to check out how this device works and the pros and cons of this device versus the OTG type of devices. Stay tuned in. Alright, so now we're going to have a look at how this drive works with your device wirelessly. Now, as I told you, this is a wireless, this is a wireless device, it's a pen drive and you can see the USB port, it's a USB 2.0 port, connects to your computer and you can put all your files into this. The one that I'm holding with me is a 200 gig uh, flash drive. You get it in various capacities, various pricing that we'll discuss at the end. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you how to use this device with your mobile device. The first thing we need to do is install an app. So we go to the app store and you have to type in SanDisk Wireless Connect. And you can see there is already certain apps coming up and the first one that you see connect drive this is the thing that you need to install and uh, since I already have it in one of my uh, devices so it shows the cloud icon otherwise it will say get so I'm going to push this and this drive this particular um, app is going to get installed in this device and once it gets in uh, installed we will get back to you. So as you can see, now it has got installed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to switch on this device. Now there is a small button here, as you can notice. So what I'm going to do is this device has a Wi-Fi radio built into it. It has got a battery inside it. So I'm going to just press this and you can notice a white light is coming up and now it starts blinking it uh, when it blinks it means its wi-fi is on it generates a wi-fi hotspot and i go to my wireless settings wi-fi settings and there you're going to see this device sand disconnect now of course i uh, my daughter uses this so she's given the name nikita to this so what I do with this is I connect this is asks me for the password. So I'm going to quickly type in the password and bring it back to you. And as you can see, it has got connected. And now what we do is once it connects to this, now we search for the app and the app is somewhere here. Yeah. So when I open this app, it is going to connect to this device. It has a login and there you go. You find all the folders in the device. My mobile phone is able to read the content of this wireless flash drive through this app. And I'm going to play a video for you. This is streaming through this live and according to SanDisk you can hook up up to three devices at a time and stream videos otherwise you can connect more than that 
to just access the files in this. So this is how this particular uh, device works. So let's go back. So these are the folders. Now another thing that you can do with this device is you go to this menu settings and it says internet connection. Now if you want, you can make this device connect to your home network. So I say internet connection. Next, next. Now you can access the internet right now in this device using the LTE connection of this. Or what you can do is, I've already connected this to my home network. And this is my home network right now. And it can connect to this. And once it connects to the home network, then you can connect this device back to your home network, access the, access the internet through your home network and also view the contents of this particular device. Otherwise, if you directly connect to this through Wi-Fi, then what happens is you can only access the files in this. You will not be able to access the internet through the Wi-Fi, but you can definitely do that using your 4G LTE connection. So that is one aspect. And uh, it also shows you the details about this particular drive it says the battery remaining you can see the battery level given in red then it shows you the iphone space remaining and it also shows you the drive space remaining there's 44 percent drive space remaining and remember the 200 gb flash drive so this is how the connection here looks like now if you want you can copy files you can for example uh just as we did in the i expand you can say select and you can select any file let's say i select this video file it's about 71 uh, mb and then i say save this to my downloads so this is save this to my downloads it is saving it to my downloads my downloads is the folder that is created in this app in this device it uses the memory of this device so basically what I'm doing is wirelessly I'm copying the files from the flash drive into my iPhone. So, and you can see the speed is quite okay for a wireless uh, connection. And uh, so you can copy folders to and fro from the phone to the flash drive, from the flash drive to the phone. So you can transport data that way and it's good to go. So this is the my downloads folder and that file has been copied here. So this is how this flash drive connects to your device. You can connect up to three devices for video streaming. You can stream three different videos in three different devices at the same time using this. All right, now in this section, I'm gonna show you how you can access the drive through your laptop wirelessly. Go to your Wi-Fi network and select the drive SanDisk Connect. Connect this to this. And if you have set a password, it will ask you for the password. If you haven't, it would not. But I recommend you to set a password to this because if you do it in a public place, then you would definitely need to protect your drive from being accessed by anyone who connects to it. So what you do is you go to any browser and type SanDisk, in fact, uh, I already have it here in my SanDisk, my connect, sandisk.com, my connect. And when you go to this, it is going to show you all the folders in your device. And please understand this is wireless. And you can also notice that I'm charging the device. It also shows you the charging part. It shows you that it's totally 197 GB because out of the 200 GB, 3 GB is for the uh, setup files and about 197 is available for you. I've, I've, uh, I've occupied about 109 gigs of that and it shows you various settings and these are the folders and these are the files that are there in the device. So you can access this through your internet uh, explorer or perhaps your Chrome, any browser, by connecting this device uh, directly to the P4 
PC. Now there is also a method by which you can connect the device through your uh, internet connection, your home network and access the device. For that you would have to go to your phone settings and then figure out how to do this. And uh, let me give you an idea about how to do that. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, folder that I could see in my iPhone. Now, if you want to access, if you want to connect your wireless stick to the internet connection, you go to the menu settings. It says internet connection, the first one, go to that. And go for next, next. It says right now it can access the internet only through LTE and it is connected through your connect device. Go to connect the drive to a Wi-Fi network and it shows that it is getting connected to the known network. So let me connect that and come back to you. So as you can see, my uh, device is connected to the home network and I can still access my drive because now my drive is connected to the home network. And so I go to settings and it says about. And as you can see in the IP address, there is a value written 192.168.0.188. So if you type this in your browser, you'll be able to access your device and also browse the net. So that's the advantage that we have. So I'm going to disconnect this. Let me go here. Let me try the IP address. It was 192.168.0.188. And let's see if I'm, yeah, I'm able to access all the files and I'm also connected to the internet. You see, I'm in connected to the internet and I can browse all the files. So this is how you connect this drive to your home network. And uh, so now let's look at the various uh, kinds of uh, capacities that you have. As you can see here, uh, this is Amazon India. The 16 GB is for 1509. The 32 GB is for 2000. That means only 500 rupee difference here. The 64 GB on the other hand is 2898, almost 800, almost 900 rupee difference here. So the first doubling happens in 500. The next is in 900 and then comes 128 GB. And this is weird. This is 2800 and this is 5100. I mean, there is a price difference of almost 1500 rupees here. And then from, six to, from 128, if you go to 200, there's a jump of approximately 1200 rupees here. And so this is the uh, SanDisk Connect wireless stick. Various different uh, prices you have, various different capacities you have. And it's a pretty decent device. It's a good device. It helps you connect to multiple devices wirelessly. There are a lot of uh, uh, pros in this. Like, for example, there are certain people who claim that, uh, you know, you don't get to play an entire playlist uh, when you are listening to songs using this, but that's not true. If you have a particular folder in which you have all songs, and once you start playing one, it starts playing each one of them. So there is absolutely no problem in this. Uh, so you can seamlessly play all uh, songs in a particular folder. Obviously, it can't jump folders on its own. And uh, even though they claim uh, that, you know, you have uh, three particular devices that can connect to this. Uh, well, I found that the third device always stutters a little bit. So two devices, it's okay to stream uh, your videos. And uh, I think one more thing that they would probably need to do uh, to make sure that this drive works flawlessly is to improve the app. The app here is something which has a lot of bugs in it. Sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't connect. Most of the time it does connect in the very first attempt, but sometimes it doesn't. So that is one particular problem, one particular issue that I have with this. And the most important thing that they must uh, ensure is to create an app for the laptop or for the desktop. Because connecting using uh, a browser it's a very, very primitive kind of an interface that you have. The interface that you have on a mobile device is far better than the uh, ability to connect it to your computer. But of course, it makes sense in a way because you don't expect anybody to connect this device wirelessly to your computer. 
because you have a USB port, you might as well connect it to the USB port of your PC. But I would recommend that, you know, it would be better off if they could make a decent app in this. So that is from my side on the SanDisk uh, wireless connect stick and hope to see you in the next video with another device and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and if you like the video please hit the like button thank you for watching